going to try a couple of single bevel broad heads. This is the new VPA Omega, I think it's called. Its ferrule is thicker. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, you can see that it rises up to the same diameter of the, whereas on this RMS gear, it's thinner, and so it doesn't, there's no rise up to the shaft, it just sort of hits the, it's a wall right there. Either are going to work, both 200 grains, this one's um, shorter, and it's got more mass around the middle, so I have a, susp I suspect that this one is going to have a little better flight trajectory than this one. Um, we'll see though. Could be surprised. Okay, take two. I'll put the blooper reel at the end of this one. Um, I'm going to take three shots. One with a field point. One with uh, VPA Omega single bevel two blade broadhead and then one with an RMS gear um, two blade single bevel broadhead. I'm going to do them on slow-mo. I just want to see how they're flying through the air. Well, I'm guessing if I weigh these that they're going to weigh a little more than 200 grains just because they flew a little right which would mean that it uh, weakened the spine up a little bit through them right I'll go further back but uh, I'm going to watch the slow-mo and just see how they fly through the air yeah that's what I thought 204 that was silly of me to aim at the same spot because the RMS broadhead just cut into, it's actually stuck on <laughs> to the VPA. Interesting. <laughs>